Hi, I'm director Chelsea Christer. After completing my award-winning music documentary, Bleeding Audio, I was on the hunt for a new subject. As a connoisseur of all things punk rock and podcasting, I thought, who is the punk rock of podcasting? Last summer, when Brandon Peters ended his old podcast and started a new one, I knew that my next documentary subject had been delivered to me. The podcast lives on. Well, that's what the podcast is. It's not even a word. The podcast is life. It's what it is. And I am that life. A lot of other podcasts out there, but they all suck. I do good podcasts. They all, the rest of them, they just suck. There is no radio anymore. Radio died long ago. It's like that movie, The Sixth Sense. Radio is Bruce Willis. And we're all like, hey, dude, you're already, you've been dead. What are you still doing here? They just don't realize it. Brandon Peters. In one word, asshole. In two words, complete asshole. Because he's the whole package. I'm often drawn to working with controversial figures, and Brandon Peters is a controversial figure. <laughs> At least in his own mind. <laughs> Although I do enjoy seeing him try. There's bitches out there that want to, like, criticize my methods and ways because I put a lot out there. But, you know, like that, like I always say, don't be less, be more. One year at PopCon, I gave him the schedule to show when he was going to be on the stage. And he took it, ripped it up, and said, I am the podcast stage. And he didn't get off the rest of the weekend. Diva. He wants to incorporate a method of style that you reserve for acting not podcasting. There's zero benefit to recording an episode of Steven Soderbergh's Traffic on actual traffic. Zero. Oh no, Del Toro totally deserved the Oscar here. No, totally. <laughs> no! No, I'm podcasting here! I'm not, you can't get over! I... Oh no, sorry, someone's just trying to cut me off and whatnot. It's... Look, I was fine doing the intro and outro vocals. But he wants them new and live as he's recording every time. Every time. And now, here's Brandon. Is she going to be sitting there just silently the whole time like that? Uh, damn it, Yancey. I said, do not talk to or acknowledge her. Jessica. Just take it from the top again. Yeah, it's, uh, ah, yeah. Life force. It's like... Toby Hooper movie about a vampire woman from space. She comes back to Earth and sucks the life out of people. And that's kind of how I feel when I listen to another shitty local podcast. They just drain the life out of me. Every one of them. People think it's cute. The kids in his videos and everything. But what they don't see is actually pretty hard on him. Go to your room. Go to your room. Don't come down to you learn your f***ing lines. I don't think it's healthy. So your sister's not cognizant about letting her go. And we try, but she just can't make it work. I mean, you got talent, but her, she's holding it back. Many blame me for creating this monster. But perhaps this monster was there the whole time. Brandon Peters, in one word. Asshole. In two words, total asshole. You take everything about him and add it up. What do you get? Asshole. The other podcasters are just bitches. They're jealous. Most of them don't know what they're doing. Even Joe Rogan. What is that? What is that? Experience? Pfft. You don't know what experience is. I am experience. I have experience. Do you like my experience? 
Brandon, the dog peed on the floor again. Hey, I'm trying to make a video.